Typical South Florida weather. How did the day start off like this? Up, guys, I'm getting ready. We get ready to go to the beach. And ended up like this. Wow. It's, it's, it was beautiful all day. It was, I'm talking, it was beautiful. It was in the back. Oh my God. Look at that. We are in a straight thunderstorm. Straight thunderstorm. Let me show you how it happened. weather was perfect all day and it was forecast to be a beautiful evening this is why we chose an evening flight as we got higher i could see that weather was building to the north and to the west you couldn't really notice this from the ground but i had a better vantage point now and as i flew east i got a little bit more concerned about it we could go to south beach but might not be able to get back that stuff was moving in and for now everything to the east and the south was perfect we could have gone to south beach and enjoy a beautiful flight but I decided, you know what, maybe we can go into North Perry, land, and wait for the stuff to pass, and then we can continue down to South Beach. But as I made that left turn to head north, headed towards the North Perry Airport, I could see that that stuff was moving in there too, and it would beat us to the airport. So now, obviously, North Perry was out of the question. I looked to the west, where we had just come from, and the weather there was headed towards Opalaka. So I started weighing my options. If I can't get into North Perry and I can't get back to Opalaka, then Tamiami would have to be my airport of choice. I decided to give Opalaka a call since I was still on the same frequency to get an update on what that weather was doing. They told me that it was moving closer to the airport, but from where I was, I did have time if I wanted to, to get back to the airport and land before it hit the airport. I chose to do so. So they gave me a clearance to continue south to join the right down one for Niner Right. I explained to my passengers that we were going back to the airport because it didn't look good. They were fine with it. As we turned back south, I could see that the decision to go back to the airport was a good one. The clouds were now moving east, covering South Beach. We would have gotten cut off. The east was still fine, but South Beach was a no-go show. The race was on to get back to the airport before the showers got there. As we got closer, it looked like we were going to lose. The rain was going to hit before we got there. Flying downwind, we would be flying into the rain. Hmm, I was concerned about that. But luckily, at the same time, the tower came out of radio and said the wind directions were changing and asked me did I want to take 3-0 instead. I was happy to do so. So, I changed from the downwind for 9 or right and turned towards 3-0. was right. As soon as we landed, I could see that Niner Right, where we would have landed, was engulfed in rain right now. And as we turned off a of 3-0, we started getting rain. So everything happened perfectly. Thank you so much. The decision to come back to the airport was a right one. I'm glad I didn't hesitate. Thank you, Lord. We're trapped in the airplane now. It's lightning, so signature those guys can't come and get us, so we have to sit here and wait it out. But yeah, never second guess. 
never second guess it. You know, don't you can't play with the weather. In South Florida, you learn quickly here. So. Even though we were stuck in the airplane, glad to be on the ground and not in the air, it was still beautiful to watch the rain fall and to watch the weather move by. I knew that the weather would be clearing up and we decided to go for a night flight. Dragonfly